button? I, I don't get it. I can't understand it. I, how do you not sway it as base with no eyes on? <laughs> the, the, the base is a total flex. The whole base is a flex. <laughs> he got a single line of defense. <laughs> this baby cannon with wooden legs. <laughs> no walls. The man has no walls. <laughs> oh, these pigs right here. He got giants. <laughs> Oh my goodness, <laughs> Jesus Christ, the man has no walls, what are you doing, you don't need no giants, you don't need all that, oh, <laughs> oh he brought wall breakers, <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> oh these boys gonna get beat with a bag of dicks man, <laughs> just beat him with a frying pan to the handle breaks. <laughs> Oh, if I ever do an attack like this, just j just let me crawl up inside of a box and rot. <laughs> just let me waste away, bro. Just let <laughs> just put me in the oven, turn that on broil, and let it smoke. <laughs> Cause I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> What is up you guys, it's your boy Graham back with a video and we are here today going to show you how to 3 star Town Hall 9 ring style bases. As you can see, we went up against this clan and just completely spanked them right up 45 to 4. They did not want the rest of the pressure, man. They just end up quitting during the middle of the war. But we got our boy Yolo Fish coming here first on this Town Hall 9 ring style base. He just goes balls in. Go ahead and lay down a poi right at the outset. Also the shatter right behind that. Wizzy's behind the shatter. Wall is going to go down to bust right through that wall. And then the King and Queen. Wizzy's King Queen and the Golem's taking hardcore right out in front. King Queen going to split up. One take on one side and the other takes the other. And they're just going to go take out the two ADs. The enemy CC and then dogs will be on the back end to tank for the other two ADs. So the loons could come into play. So King Queen just splitting up. Taking out both sides. Two ADs. He's got one rage left and four hates. And this boy just completely mops this one right up. I told the boy to flex, but he ends up just disrespecting it and wrecking it right up, man, with the flex. So here comes the dogs on the left-hand side. Another one coming in from the right. Loons right behind the dogs. He got four hates, but he's not even going to use them, man. He's not even going to need them. Absolutely just dove this one out, man, and let them nuts hang. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful job, man, coming in from our boy Yolofish, showing us how to three-star this Town Hall 9 base. Dogs are just tanking right in that core. Tussas are no pressure. And it's, <laughs> take a look at this, man. Just take a look at this boy. Just beat this base with a big bag of dicks, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Take a look at that flex. Got a wall breaker, too. <laughs> Very nice job coming in from our boy Yolofish, showing this Town Hall 9 who's the boss. All right, this one coming in from yours truly, your boy Grim. And actually, I was a monster coming in with a six-pack this war, man. So I went with the cold-blooded Lalo, just one golem. And initially, I was going to lay down the hill for my kill squad. But as I was thinking about it, man, that really won't make no sense because the kill squad should be more than enough to take out three objectives. That is the enemy queen, the enemy CC, and one AD. And then I had three dogs that will tank for my loons for the other three AD. So it don't make sense to lay down the hill unless I was probably bringing bowlers. If I was bringing bowlers, man, I could lay down the hill, progress them further onto the base, let them take out some more defenses. But I only had the King Queen and some Wizzies and one Golem. So I said, let's just save the heal for the back end, maybe for this Wizzy Tower over here. So here comes the dogs. One coming in from the nine, the other coming in from the seven. Good, both two directions. That way they soak up all those air mines and distracting so many defenses that the loons just go untouched as they progress further onto the core. I'm going to lay down the rage right on top of them. Take out those Teslas. The Expos are just some sitting ducks waiting to get thumped. They're pointed down so they're no threat to my loons. Lay down another haste to quicken the pace of them loons. Just move them further on into those defenses. And here we go. Going to lay down that heal. Actually, that could have been a flex. I could have flexed that heal because they were still full of green. Taking out that Wizzy Tower. Yeah, that definitely could have been a flex. I apologize, my boys. I apologize. Did not save the flex for you. But there you go. Pretty much done down for shot of man. Pups are being spawned, bouncing all around, taking out the town hall. All that's over there. Still had a Wizzy and a minion left for cleanup on the back end. So, yeah, there you go. Very, very nice. Uh, I just regret that I didn't save that flex, man. <laughs> Anyways. Hold on, I got one more attack. Actually, a FYI came in on this very similar base right here. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, so yeah, here we go. This is the same, almost the same base. It might very well be the exact same base, but FYI just came at it a little bit differently. Actually, it comes in with a queen walk from the top left-hand side and then a bareback king 
at the bottom left hand side. Now with the queen walk, he's going to take out the enemy queen, the enemy CC and one AD. And then the king from the bottom left will take out the other. Then he has two dogs that will tank. Actually, no, three dogs that will tank for the other two AD. So he lays down the poi right on top of that enemy queen. Here comes the CC. Here comes the second poi getting dropped right on top of him, melting him away like ice in the sun. He's got one rage that's going to lay down on top of the healers, making sure that queen stays alive. And then the bottom left hand side, we're going to see the king come into play. Here we go. A few wall breakers on that wall. He's just busting right through the gates. Going to take out the cannon, move on into that other AD, take that out. Meanwhile, queen is still just sniping, taking out a good portion of the base all by herself. Dog's going to come into play from the 12 o'clock. Here we go. Here comes one dog from the 1 o'clock. Another one coming in from the 3. Loons behind them. Lays down the haste to quicken the pace of them loons. Moving on to these defenses. Taking them out with ease and just going untouched from these defenses, man. He's got one rage and two haste left. Going to move on to the core where that little Tesla farm is and the Expos. I think, yeah, the Expos are pointing up on this one. So that's the that might be the difference. The Expos were pointed down for me. So I didn't have no threat from the Expos. But FYI, come in here to show us how to do it with the queen walk bareback king attack very very nice man no flex from me actually no he got a haste left maybe he does have a flex man everybody was flexing except for me jesus man <laughs> But yeah, very, very nice showing you how to get it done on these ring style bases. Some people I know, they do get thumped in by them, especially from Town Hall 10s and 11s. But Town Hall 9s is not so much a big a deal, but I hope they helped you out if you were having trouble with it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Of course, stay flexing, my boys. I'll talk to you later. Peace.